I wonder what's the difference between fashion merchandising and fashion design. I don't know. I don't know why they make such a big deal out of it anyways. Hmm, check your major area of interest. Fashion design. No merchandise product development? I think I want to do fashion design. Yeah. Wait, no. Or maybe I'm going to do fashion merchandising. Many choices, I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Teeks, or you can call me Takara. It is whichever one that you guys would prefer to call me. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about fashion merchandising and fashion design. What is the difference? If you are new to my channel, welcome. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that way you can join the teacup family. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. So for the longest, I always wanted to know what the difference between a fashion designer and a fashion merchandiser was when I went into looking into the fashion fashion industry. I always kind of had an idea of what a fashion designer was because I just knew that they actually made the clothes. But as far as a fashion merchandiser, I never really knew what they actually did, what was their role in the industry. Yeah, I love everything about this look. This whole look is amazing. I think our customer would love it. Literally love it. It's so chic. It's so chic, right? What's the print and the fabric? Turn around for me so I can see the back. We'll take it. So basically what a fashion merchandiser is, they basically work for retailers and stores and they pick out the garments that are going to be sold in those stores. So rather if it's H&M or any type of retail store or a high brand store, they're basically like the buyers for this store. They're the ones who negotiate with the designers and the wholesalers to try to get accessories and clothes at a lower, at a lower cost. That way that they'll be able to sell them in their stores for a good price. What about the colors for spring? All right, let's go ahead and create a mood board. All right, so fashion designers start off by analyzing consumer trends. They're always looking to see what's trending, maybe um, what we're actually doing, like what type of social medias that I might be on, just what is the consumer doing on a daily. They try to find those types of trends, beauty and grooming trends, probably what us YouTubers are doing online, what's the hottest street style that the bloggers are wearing, observing different types of silhouettes and different colors and different detailing, figuring out what type of footwear is trending. This is what helps them with the design process. So in fashion merchandising, they're the one who create the eye-catching displays to attract consumers. I think one place that really um, has really, really good displays is probably Victoria's Secret. They have like really bold things that attracts you into the store and makes you want to shop. But that's something that you would maybe be interested in. Know that you might be setting up mannequins, deciding on sales displays in order to reel in your customers. So just keep that in mind. So designers are the one who design the clothing and the accessories and I just think this is such a creative process and something that is just so much fun. They're the ones who actually come up with the silhouettes of the dress, how it fits the body, how the garment's going to look, who the garment's going to be for, what type of client or target audience. Is it going to be for children, teens, women, men? They're also going to look for different fabrics to match those silhouettes um, to create cohesive collection. Most designers have a certain aesthetic, so just keep that in mind if that's something that you're looking to do. Fashion merchandisers attend fashion shows. Basically, they go to these fashion shows so that they can look at the pieces that they're going to be picking up. And they're trying to find pieces that are going to be great to put into their store.
And fashion designers are, of course, the ones who are hosting the fashion shows. They're having the fashion shows. They're putting on these shows to showcase their line. Fashion shows are created to kind of be like a storytelling type thing. The show is basically going to tell a story for the clothes and that's what I like about fashion shows. Usually designers will team up with a creative director to help them plan and market and create advertisements to market the clothes to the public. So when it comes to fashion merchandising, you're probably wondering what type of education do you have to have? Well, you could have a high school education. Some stores will hire merchandisers with a high school diploma, while others have a bachelor's degree. It kind of just depends and varies on the company and the store that you're working for. As far as a fashion designer, what type of education do you have to have? You don't really need an education to be a fashion designer. I am somebody who is going to be self-taught because I'm teaching myself and I'm not going to school. I eventually do want to go to school just to get like more of a hands-on experience, having someone actually being there to kind of guide me and show me more in-depth things about um, sewing. But you don't need a degree. Some of the best designers out there are self-taught and some uh, designers have gotten their associate's degree so it just it just depends on the person and if that's something that you want to do if you want to go to school or if you just want to teach yourself and or if you just don't have the money to I mean it's whatever it's payday well what does the pay look like you might ask I've actually heard that some fashion merchandisers have actually made more than fashion designers. However, if you are making more, of course, you are going to have to have a higher education. So how much was it that you said we made this month? Wait, what? No way. That's it? And pay for fashion designers. Again, it varies. It depends on your profile. Are you designing clothes for celebrities or people who are rich and have money? Then your salary is probably going to be a little bit different from somebody who is maybe just designing clothes for the average person. <gasps> so that is it for this video. I hope this helps someone out there who wasn't quite sure what they wanted their career path to be between these two careers. So which one are you? Are you team merchandisers or are you team designers? Let me know in the comments. And give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. And share this video with someone you know who is trying to get into the fashion industry. Don't forget to subscribe so that way it will update you when these videos drop down here on this channel. Make sure that you go out there and create your own world. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>